Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I've got an Aerie haul for you. I really love Aerie. I've had a really good experience shopping from American Eagle and Aerie. Of course, back in the day when I was in high school, American Eagle was like one of the coolest places to shop. And I think it's evolved a lot and they branched off and open the second kind of company or second line, Aerie. They mostly focus on loungewear, some athletic wear, leggings, stuff like that. So I shopped specifically at Aerie and I've got a whole bunch of stuff to show you guys. The one thing about Aerie that's interesting is, in my opinion, the prices are kind of high, but the good thing is quite often they're always running some sort of sale some sort of promotion. I don't think I've ever bought anything at full price. With all the stuff that I bought today, only one of them was full price. So I, and I will let you know which one that is. Even though it looks like it's a little pricier, mm, I would try to wait for some kind of deal before you make a purchase. <laughs> all of my sizing info is going to be down in the description box below. So go ahead and check that out if you have any questions about my sizing and my stats. So I'm going to start off with the top that I am wearing right now and it's part of a set. I'm only wearing the top though right now and I'll explain why in a second. So I got this tie dye crew neck sweatshirt and I got the matching leggings that go with it. So the bottoms have the same matching tie dye pattern. Are we over tie dye? I'm not sure how I feel. I've been wearing tie dye. I don't know, forever and ever and ever, years and years. And I remember I actually thrifted this Ben and Jerry's tie-dye t-shirt and I actually still have it. And I wore it in college like crazy and I still wear it sometimes now just around the house. So I like, I've always worn tie-dye, some form of tie-dye. I have mixed feelings on it now just because we see it so much, so much over and over again. It's like songs on the radio. It might be a good song, but after you've heard it 300,000 times, you kind of start to get sick of it. Now, with that being said, I was drawn to this set because of the neutral color. I thought it's a different kind of twist on the tie-dye situation. It's not like bright colored tie-dye, traditional tie-dye. So I like these pieces individually. I don't like them together. First of all, the crew neck, I like, it's a very nice weight. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's really like that nice medium weight. Perfect for transitioning into spring. I love that it has the thumb holes. You can see that. And I also love the colors. The reason I don't love it with the leggings is the length. So I got my normal size small in this. With Aerie, their tops tend to run big. So I always just get my true size and they usually come slightly oversized. This one actually is not oversized in terms of length. It's roomy in the body and it's a little boxier fitting, but the length, I personally don't like the length with leggings. And with these leggings, as you'll see in the try on, the nude color is not flattering on the crotchal region, if you will. And it's not flattering on the thighs, in my opinion, on me. I mean, I don't have a lot of cellulite, but I feel like I could see right through and see every little dimple and bump and line on my legs and everywhere else. So I like these leggings, but I would have preferred to wear something that's longer that covers my bum and my front. So that's why I don't like them together. But separately, I think they're really cute. The leggings, I got a size medium because in the past, I found with Aerie leggings, they run really small. So I always size up to a medium. I'm typically between a small and a medium. So I would say if you're in between sizes to size up because the mediums fit me good. If I'd gotten a small, it would have been bad. I am also five foot three and I got the regular length and they were quite long on me. I had to really pull them up. So I would have preferred to get medium short. So if you're taller than me, these would work lengthwise. If you are five, three or shorter, I would definitely suggest getting the short length. The feel of these leggings is not an athletic legging feeling. These are definitely cotton, like not athletic leggings at all. 
I would definitely not bend over in them. I would definitely not squat in them. These are definitely lounging or wearing them out in public, but wearing something long. I also think if I had gotten a different color, it would have made a difference as well. So those are my thoughts on this set. <laughs> All right, now next I got a pair of biker shorts, the same print as the leggings, the same kind of style, but a different color. I much, 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 much prefer this color. It's way more flattering. It's not calling attention to any unflattering areas on my body. The fit of these is beautiful. The length on me, I really like. They're not too short, they're not too long. These say that they are a seven inch inseam. So if you're on the shorter side, we sometimes have a hard time finding biker shorts that hit us right in mid thigh. So I really like these. Again, same material, more of a cotton material. So I, again, I wouldn't be doing any kind of high intensity workout with these bending over squatting, but I could definitely see myself wearing them out to go for a walk, hanging around the house, running errands. I was actually more comfortable wearing a slightly cropped shirt, as you can see in the try on. I think they're super cute, super comfy. I did size up to a size medium, which I definitely suggest sizing up if you were in between. All right, and my next outfit, I found a gem, you guys. This quarter zip pullover. Oh my goodness. So this is actually very oversized. I got my normal size small in this, and as you can see in the try-on, it is definitely long enough to wear with leggings. I love the weight. Again, this is actually even lighter than this crew neck. I would say it's, you know, a light, medium weight, very comfy. I love the neutral leopard. It's not like in your face leopard. And of course this comes in a million other colors. So if you're looking for a solid color, you can find it in a solid color. And I really, really like this for transitioning into spring with leggings. Okay, so now my first pair of leggings that I paired with this quarter zip are these leggings. Okay, I did pay full price for these leggings. And at full price, they're $45, or sorry, $44.95 to be exact. First of all, I love the crisscross V front. I think that's super flattering and just a cute little touch, just something different. I also love the length on me. These are the seven eighth length. So they're meant to be ankle length on, you know, average height people. I like how high rise they are. I still don't consider these a, an athletic legging, even though they feel like they're trying to be an athletic legging, but they are very, 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 very thin. Almost like tights. I would not probably feel comfortable wearing something that's cropped with this. I would not feel comfortable wearing these to the gym. But with that being said, they are very, very comfortable just to lounge in, just to wear something like this where it's covering you. I'm not sure where they were going with this. <laughs> if they were trying to make them athletic, I, I don't know. It just feels a little bit like the quality is not there if that's what they're trying to do. But I do think they're nice if you're looking for just like comfy black leggings that are not squeezing you in, that aren't compression, that are just super, super comfy, but they're not gonna fade like a cotton legging would. So I like them. I thought they were comfy. And uh, just so you know, I got a size medium in those leggings as well. Okay, and then I have, again, another pair of leggings. They are the same line, offline, real me seven eighth leggings, like the black ones I just showed you, but these are more of like a burgundy color. They do not have the V front, but they are high rise, definitely. They are the exact same material as the black leggings that I showed you that kind of lightweight bordering on tights. <laughs> Super comfy, I really do like them. I also love that they do not have a seam at the top. So they're not at all digging into me. They're very, very comfortable in the waist and super high rise and lengthwise, just as nice. Okay, and next up I have this ribbed Henley. I really, really, really like this top. So it's definitely a very lightweight, soft, soft Henley. You can wear it lounging around. You can wear it out and about. I paired it with a pair of jeans and some sneakers, just a classic kind of running errands type of outfit. They have this in a million colors. So you can find one that you like, I'm sure. But I kind of just went with this neutral where I could really mix it and match and use it and style it so many different ways. 
This I would say is a little bit on the longer side as you can see in the try on, but it's not oversized. I got my normal size small in this. So I would say if you're looking for something that's going to cover your bum for leggings, you can size up at least one size. I definitely like this though for just a basic long sleeve tee. Okay, and now I've got my two favorite pieces of the whole haul. So this is an example of tie dye that's done right in my opinion. So this V neck oversized sweater. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love this sweater. I think it's super, super cute and it's tie dye, but done in a different way. First of all, it's got the neutral colors. Second of all, it's more kind of spotted, like almost like bleach stained, not the swirly typical tie dye that we see all the time. I love the feel of this. It's lightweight. It's more of an open knit situation. So the air is definitely going to flow through it. If you want something a little warmer, I would just layer something underneath. But for me, I live in Florida, so for me, this is perfect right now. I'm really, really loving this. I love the length. As you can see, you could wear it with leggings if you wanted to, it's long enough. And I got my normal size small in this, so I would definitely suggest getting your normal size. If you were to size up, it probably would be extra, extra oversized. So just keep that in mind. This is really a trend that's going on right now this cropped grandpa cardigan style. I absolutely love the cream color. I think it's super neutral. Again, good for transitioning into spring, really versatile in terms of styling. I love the tortoise shell buttons, just very, very classy looking. And I love the pockets. I just love everything about this. I love the fit. It's oversized, but as you can see in the try on, I was able to wear this without a shirt underneath it. And I felt like I was covered. So the V is, you know, deep, but not too deep. But of course you can always layer something underneath it. You can even put on, you know, a tank top underneath and unbutton it just to get a different look out of it. Really good quality sweater. This is probably my favorite piece of the whole haul. Okay, and then I wanted to close out this haul with a purchase. This isn't something I purchased recently. It's actually something I've had for a long time, but I have to share it with you guys. It's these bras. So I have a, a couple of different ones, but I just pulled this one out because I happen to have it handy. So this bra is from Aerie and it is the Real Free Full Coverage Bra. You guys, this is the comfiest bra ever, ever. It's very soft, it's full coverage, okay? So this is like a good one to wear under a t-shirt. I also love the piece that goes on your back because I feel like it's super duper smoothing. Like it's not going to cut into you. It's not gonna look bumpy or bulgy underneath your tighter shirts. It's just very, very smoothing and very, very soft. I wish you guys could feel it. They do have an underwire. So I prefer a bra that has an underwire if I'm going to be wearing something like out and about or if I'm gonna be moving around. They do have ones though that do not have an underwire. So if you prefer to not have one, check out their website. All right, you guys, and that's it for this airy haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I upload beauty and fashion videos weekly, and I would love to have you come back and join me again. All right, thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Bye.